Aquarius, welcome to the second half of the November love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So, Aquas, uh, let's go right into your meditative session. I used to have a really long intro. It's trying to conserve my energy. So if you're new to tarot, and apparently, I, I did the Sag reading this morning, and I had a lot of newbies in there. So if you're really new to tarot, I really recommend you watch the How to Interpret Tarot Readings as a Viewer. It will answer a lot of your questions. It's kind of like a crash course in understanding energy work astrology and how that all ties into tarot and like certain terminology and things like that i will try to be better about speaking in more basic terms okay just because i i did pick up a lot of new people a lot of new people okay so sag um if this is energy messages can be reversed or vice versa this can pertain to someone you know not just you so aquarius did i just call you sag i'm sorry <laughs> could be on the sad drum could you know just because i was talking about sag anyway aqua uh, I love your freaking energy right now. You guys feel so light. You guys feel so happy. I feel like you're just singing along. You're hearing the birds chirp and shit. Like, it seems like your load has been lightened a lot recently or you're considering doing this or you're considering doing this and you're just wanting to like enjoy every moment. You're just wanting to enjoy every moment. I feel a lot of you are creating as well. And if you're not, you should be, okay? If you're not, you should be. I'm telling you that right now. Definitely start creating if you're not creating anything. Um... Mm, yeah, it just feels good. Sorry, I just, I, I can feel it. It feels so damn good. Now, Aqua, while you're coming into this peaceful state, because like I said, some of you are just thinking about it. Not all of you are doing it. Some of you are just thinking about it. So as you come into the state, you're vibrating higher. You're vibrating brighter. Vibrating brighter? That sounded weird to say. Which attracts a lot of things, good and bad. I feel like you're going to get approached with a lot of offers. I feel like it's actually a lot in business. I feel like you're going to get some business proposals, which is kind of cool. And I think you're going to be really excited about it. I feel like you've been waiting for that. I feel like you've also been waiting for that. Now, keep in mind, Sag, there's one person in particular that I feel really stands out amongst the most. This could be romantic offers. I do feel like there's some kind of like stability, money, security kind of behind it, which to me screams more about money and career and business than it does love. But you know, take that as it resonates. Um, and Aqua, I just, e, I feel like this person isn't telling you everything. I'm just being honest here. They could just be trying to play it smart. They could just be trying to play it smart with you. Um, but I like, I heard secure options. I heard securing options. Okay. And Aqua, I feel like you're kind of sensing that they're holding back from you, which is making you kind of go like, why are you holding back so much, right? Um, you don't like that. It's setting off the alarm bells. And I feel like this person's actually very frustrated. And this could be someone that you've been dealing with before. I do kind of get that for some of you. That's just someone you actually already know. It's not a totally new person here, okay? Uh, for some of you, not for all of you, take it as it resonates. It feels very stubborn, though. It feels very, like, it could be an earth sign or, like, Virgo. I just heard Virgo. Don't have to be. Male or female. But I'm, I'm getting a sense of frustration. A sense of frustration and just, like, begrudging. Um, like, they know they need to approach you. It's like, it's like I keep pinching my lips. It's it's just kind of like, I can't believe I have to approach Aqua. Like, that, that's kind of how it feels. That's kind of how it feels. So it feels like a very strange little situation here. So Aqua, you might just be doing so good that it's just like, they have to work with you. Or they know if they don't make you this offer, it's just not going to be good for them. You see what I'm saying? For some of you where you have a history with this person, I feel like it's a bit of a lesson learned on their end, kind of like, I can't believe Aqua was right, or like, kind of like, I told you so, so they're coming your way, for those where this is someone that you already know, or like, you have a history with this person, okay, I feel like someone has had a lot of shit happen, and they've come into a lot of understanding, and yeah, I just keep getting this energy of like, god damn it, that Aqua was right, <laughs> god damn it, the Aqua was right, um, yeah, for some, yeah, if you have a history with this person, that's what that is, yeah, if you have a history with this person, that's what's going on, and you're sensing that, you're sensing that and you're wondering if they're even genuine. And I got to be honest, they might not be. For those of history of this person, they might not be. Okay, Aqua? So just be cognizant of that. Your intuition is going to be popping right now. So you're going to be in a really good spot to identify bullshit, right? And because you're in such a good place, um, I don't think you're so eager to share your happiness right now. Because Aqua, I feel a lot of you have been in, that, have been in this pattern before in your life where it's just like you find your happy space, your happy spot. And then people come into your life and then it's like you end up sharing it and then it just ends up getting depleted, right? Like sharing your cup too much. Um, so yeah, Aqua, just be mindful of that. So let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle. Please leave any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. 
I'm seeing a lot of uh, rivers, actually. A lot of rivers. You could be, you could live by a river. Um, going, you could be going to rivers or feeling the need to be by water. Which aqua, I always call you the watery air sign. It's funny, I was talking about aquas last night. <laughs> I was opening PO boxes and um, someone in one of the cards asked, uh, why are aquas considered a water sign, not an air sign? And I had to explain it. Uh, so I'll explain it again. Because you're wisdom. You're the epitome of wisdom. You are wise enough and mature enough to make decisions without um, letting emotions overwhelm you, which is why you can carry emotion, but you're not affected by it. You don't let it touch you. Um, but anyway, Aqua. But I feel like you're actually wanting to be around water. Like, this is interesting that this is coming up because... Um, oh, that's why it's coming up. The, whatever this is right now, you got a lot of emotions coming up. And like an aqua, you're not letting it affect you because you're Aquarius. You're not letting it affect you, but you're looking at it. You're looking at it and you're examining it. You're examining it quite a bit here. Please report any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aquarius. Someone, you're not, you're not touching it. You're not. You're just examining. Oh, very interesting. You are examining and dissecting emotions, aqua. I like it. I actually really like that. I like that energy. And I think you're doing this not for yourself, but also to examine this person up and down a little bit. To do like a little like scan of like person's true intentions. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Pleasing for any messages of true healing and love or Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I, I keep getting, getting burned up. Um, please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Page of Swords. Ooh, Aqua. Yeah, people are watching you. You're being watched here. Doesn't feel heavy, heavy, heavy ass watching. And like I said, you're also looking at someone as well. You're looking at someone who's looking back at you. It's almost like who can figure out the other person fast enough? Interesting. Who can figure out the other person fast enough? Who can figure out the true intentions and, and how and the triggers and how the other person works fast enough? And I feel like, yeah, Aqua, the more I'm getting into this energy, the more I feel like this person's gonna try to manipulate you. I don't think they're gonna get away with it though, because I think you're gonna see right through them. Closing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Of course, if you don't have a younger water sign, or you could be younger, not necessarily, because you are the air sign here. Please for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the last half of November, getting January. Uh, you could be a January Aquarius. Yeah, I did just your birthday. I did just your birthday. Ooh. Five of Wands in reverse. Leo energy. Ace of Wands in reverse. Wow. And Ten of Cups in reverse. Jesus. Piscean energy. Yikes. 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 I feel like someone has lost a lot recently, and I don't think it's you. I don't think it's you, but someone's lost a lot recently. Um, loss of happiness. Loss of passion. It's almost just like a lot of missed opportunities. A lot of missed opportunities. I I feel like someone got involved with the wrong people. Sag, I feel like the, I'm sad, sorry, Jesus, Aqua. I feel like this is the person um, who's approaching you. I feel like this person is approaching you. I feel like they've recently like been duped or something. It's interesting. Yeah, like recently been duped. I feel like people have, yeah, yeah, they've been duped. They've recently been duped by other people, not just one person. It feels like multiple, multiple. And they see how happy you are. They see you shining bright. They see your success. And I think that's why they're coming your way. And like I said, some of, some of you have a history with this person. If you have a history with this person, you might have warned them against these people. Yeah, if you have a history with this person, you might have warned them against this person or people that have duped them. And again, that'd be grudging. Aqua was right. <laughs> Placing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. 
Oh, what kind of dog is that? I just saw a dog. Um, it's like, is that a schnauzer? I like, I don't know this breed. It's the long snout, but they're kind of short. Um, I think they're like an English, British, Scot Scottish, Scottish, Scottish. I'm hearing Scottish. That's right. It's a Scottish breed. It's a Scottish breed. But they have like long snouts, but they're short, uh, long haired. It's like they got a little like beard thing going, dark gray. I'm seeing one of those. So cute. Anyway, it's for someone out there. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. They're emphasizing Scottish, though. Interesting. They're, inter they're emphasizing Scottish. Maybe some of you are Scottish. Maybe some of you just needed that confirmation. Fool in reverse. Oh. Someone feels like an idiot. <laughs> it's this person. Aqua, this is all this person's energy. They're watching you. They're watching you. They're watching you. They're watching you. And it's like, you know that there's a lot they're not telling you. You know they've been through something recently, whether they're new or you have a past with them. And you warn them against people. And these people ended up duping them or conning them. They've ended up duped. I keep getting duped. They ended up duped. And it's almost like you're examining them to see like how quickly you can figure out their game. And they're kind of trying to look at, they're looking at you to figure out how quickly they can figure out how to manipulate you. Ooh, Aqua. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the reading. It's getting really interesting. Ace of Pentacles is on the bottom, by the way. Any messages for Aquarius? Regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the last half of November? I'm seeing yams. Don't know why. <laughs> I'm seeing yams. Maybe you're, Maybe this is Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know. I'm seeing yams. D diced, specifically. Um, what do you call those little pan things? It's a small one, too. It's like a small oval white ceramic with the little handles on the side. I don't know. I'm seeing that. Don't know why, but I'm seeing it. All right. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy. Three of Swords. Libra energy, and then we got that fool upright this time. Yeah, someone like walked right into heartache or something. This is crazy. That's what I'm getting with this. Someone walked right into pain or a painful situation. Painful, painful, painful. Um, it's like someone walked right in and instantly was like, how do I get out of this? <laughs> like, wow. Super quick, like super quick, like, da, 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 da. oh, oh, shit. How did I get here? Oh, oh, no, I need to get out of here. It's like <laughs> very, very quick very quick um this is wow i'm just like i'm amazed how quickly that energy is like transpired and look we were talking about that dog and look, there's a little dog right there um someone was just too into full energy and, and aqua this is aquarius energy i also consider aries but it is Aqu aquarian this could very well be you but keep in mind energy is vice versa it can work both ways but someone walked into a really bad situation almost like a trap yeah, Aqua, I feel like this is the person you warned. <laughs> this is the person you warned. And the second they got in there, they're like, oh, shit, how do I get out of this? Any messages for Aquarius? Four of Cups in reverse. Can't Cancerian energy. Rejection. Rejection, rejection, rejection. It's like, so wow, wow. Whoever this is, Aqua, whatever they walked, they walked away from something. They rejected something and walked right into a trap right into a trap wow aqua keep in mind this could be a warning for you because you are in very like like lighthearted, like living in the moment energy which is full energy so just be very mindful this might be a warning for you but i feel like it's the other person but it's energy it could work both ways so just keep that in mind all right let's keep it going but yeah definitely this person rejected something walked away from something and literally is walking right into a trap second they get there it's like they the second they take that step clamp down shit i need to get out <laughs> any messages for aquarius any messages for aquarius regarding love for the last half of november any messages for aquarius regarding love 
for the last half of November. Wow, that's it. Overall energy, we have two of swords in reverse. Making a decision. I hear quick. I just heard quick. Making a quick decision. But underneath that, aqua, ee, -e, king of swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, could also be Gemini or Libra. This is someone who's not thinking straight. Wow. Someone who's not thinking straight, they made a very quick decision on something, a really quick judgment call. They rejected something and walked right into a trap. Wow. Wow. I feel like this is just the confirmation of who this is to you. I'm being totally honest. But like I said, this is Aquarian energy. So this can be vice versa. And Aqua, this could basically indicate that this person who's coming in, making an offer, might be trying to trap you in something, okay, or con you. So please be very mindful that it can work both ways. But you'll know, you'll know. Because if, if it's not resonating that, like, you warn someone about something and they've been duped and you're living life, like, if that's not resonating with you, this is most likely a warning for you to not take an offer that's coming your way, okay? Um, let's let's look at what was rejected here. Let's look at what was rejected. We'll do a haunted house deck. Wow. <laughs> newer deck so slippery talking about the four of cups in reverse for Aquarius regarding love for the last half of November talking about four of cups in reverse talking about four of cups in reverse Cups in reverse for Aquarius regarding love for the last half of November. Time of four cups in reverse. Emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy here. Is this the person who rejected or did the rejecting? I feel like this is the person who feels rejected. This emperor feels rejected. It doesn't have to be a man. It could also be a female, but it's it's emperor energy. So it's energy of someone who um, has a lot in their life, is has a lot of responsibilities, can also be a leader or someone who's very alpha, someone who's been through a lot of shit, could even be someone older, but not necessarily, um, but someone who at the end of the day makes shit happen. Empress is someone um, who receives a lot and then things manifest, right? Emperor is more proactive than that. Also someone who's not very emotional, not very emotional, but again, not thinking straight, right? But I, I feel like, I feel like this person was the one who was rejected, for sure. Talking about the Four of Cups in Reverse, but we'll see, we'll see how this plays out. Talking about Four of Cups in Reverse. Wow, King of Wands. Leo energy could also be air or fire. Yeah, this is an action taker. This is a serious action taker. This is someone who means business. This is someone who really doesn't fuck around. King of Wands is a go-getter, very much like an entrepreneurial kind of figure. They see something, they want something, they do it. They make it happen. No questions asked. They, they act fast. And like, what was I, was I saying? All this happened really, really, really fast, right? Emperor is also someone who takes action. Very serious person is what I'm getting. Very serious person. Again, male or female doesn't matter. A lot of masculine energy on the board. Talking about four of cups in reverse. Talking about four of cups in reverse. Talking about four of cups in reverse for Aquarius regarding love for the last half of November. Wow, high priestess, jeez. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Overall energy, we have justice. Libra energy. What the fuck? Justice. This emperor knew something. This is interesting. Whatever this emperor walked away from, it might have been the right thing to reject. They knew something. They had secret knowledge. There were secrets going on here, but I feel like the emperor had the knowledge of something and whatever rejection took place, it was the right thing. It was the right thing to reject, but again, whatever they walked into might not be so right. And keep in mind, it can be a period, this can be um, where this rejection already took place, walking away from something already took place, but maybe walking to something hasn't happened yet. So Aqua, if this is you, if you rejected, um, if you rejected someone or a situation because you mean business and you knew something was up, then that was the right thing. And now you're in this full energy of like, 
I feel so damn good. Life is good. This offer might be coming in, but that offer might not have happened yet, and the offer could be a trap, okay? So that's what I mean. Just be mindful of that. Just be very mindful. Um, underneath the Justice card, we do have Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or Water. This is a very disloyal person, okay? Someone who's very self-centered. Yeah, I feel like this is the person you walked away from, Aqua. Aqua, I'm tapped into an Aquarius energy who's... Uh, in a very masculine energy. So again, you could be a female, but you just mean business and you're not fucking around and you're making shit happen. You knew something was up with this person, that they were more loyal to themselves than to you. Could even be someone who's very materialistic, even someone who's very catty as well. And by rejecting, by rejecting this person, justice took place. It was the right thing. It was the right thing. And it could have been your own intuition that set your, you know, that set things off, that set off the alarm bells. Um, where are we at? 20 minutes? Let's look at the High Priestess, actually. I want to use the Lenormand deck and see what it is you knew. Let's see. Um, okay. <laughs> Tell me about the High Priestess for Aquarius. Tell me about the High Priestess for Aquarius. Tell me about the High Priestess for Aquarius regarding love for the last half of November. Tell me about the High Priestess. Whoa. Oh, hell no. What? What? <laughs> wow. We have the heart. Matters of the heart, love, the moon, illusions, also secrets, also could indicate work. And then the ring is um, a commitment, an engagement, a loyalty of some kind. Secret commitment. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else wants to come out. So I'm over the high priestess. So I'm over the high priestess for Aquarius regarding love for the last half of November. Now we have community, um, well, the garden, which is community. I always consider it community because that's how I remember it. Community, energy of 20, breaking down to two with the um, eight of swords here. Community, the garden <laughs> represents community or public. Public matters, community matters, um, well-known knowledge, public knowledge, um, also just like a social network of sorts. And then we have the well with 41 breaking down to five to look deeper into your community, into your social network here. Ooh, ooh. Aqua, this feels like someone who was running around. Queen of Pentacles in a verse can be indicate um, a disloyal spouse or disloyal partner card. You walked away from this person. You rejected this person. Not having it. Not having it. There were, I feel secret affairs here. I do. I feel secret commitments, secret love. Yeah, walking away. Um, overall, the maze. 43, bring it down to a seven. How to get out, how to get away. The cross, burdened. Burdened by being stuck in this. Burdened by trying to figure this shit out. I feel like the answer lies within the social network that you have with this person. If you, okay, everyone works on energy differently. A lot of you have already rejected this person, okay, or walked away from this person. Um, if you haven't yet, um, you might want to take a look at the social network or the public community that you two share, or even like your work environment that you two share. Answers will lie there because before you walk away, like you're trying to figure out what the hell's going on here because you're burdened by this because you know, you know, you don't have all the information. You know, you don't have all the answers. You know, something's up. Secret commitments, secret affairs tied to either community, family or public or work environment here with you and this person. So anyway, you dip. You dip and you go into this full energy. But like I said, walking right into a trap. So keep in mind, Aqua, we, this person this person who's been disloyal to this emperor clearly has been involved with other energies. So when this happens, you could be any of these energies, okay? You could be this this emperor who's reject, who rejected this person. You could be the person who was rejected and kind of fucking around here, okay? But I feel like the emperor is coming into a full energy, but I'm a little worried because it looks like they're walking into a trap very quickly and then quickly trying to figure out how to get out of it, okay? But let's break down these energies a little bit more here. 
Um, I want to look at the Three of Swords, and then we'll look at the Five of Pentacles in a verse. Uh, too gilded for this one. Some of the Three of Swords. Some of the Three of Swords for Aquarius. Some of the Three of Swords for Aquarius regarding love. For the last half of November. Ten of the Three of Swords. Ten of the Three of Swords for Aquarius regarding love. For the last half of November. Ten of the Three of Swords. And Aqua. Because like I said, I was feeling an offer coming your way. This emperor could be heading to you in this full energy as well. Keep that in mind because I do feel an offer here. So I have a three of swords and there it is. <laughs> I love that. And there it is. Page of Pentacles. An offer. An extension. An olive branch. A phone call. An invitation to a date. That's what a page of Pentacles is. It's also self-reflection. It's also self-reflection here. This emperor is reflecting on what they're leaving behind and, and what just happened. But I do feel... There, 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 I do feel an offer here though. I do feel, I do feel an offer. Aqua, you could be hearing from this person and it's like, and you, and they were duped. That's right. And they were duped. Sorry, I'm just putting all the pieces together. Aqua, this emperor, you could have known them from your past. You could have warned them against a person like, hey, I think they're lying to you. Hey, I think they're running out on you or whatever. Come to find out that is the case. They leave, they leave them and they could be heading right to you with an offer. And then gonna be like, I was duped. You were right, Aqua. You were right, Aqua. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a funky mood today. Uh, wow, interesting. Knight of Pentacles in a verse. Virgo energy. And that I was getting heavy ass stubborn. This is stubborn, stubborn energy. Virgo could also be earth or, or fire. They're having a really hard time admitting you're right. A lot of fucking energies here, Aqua. What the hell? Star card, you're a card on the bottom. They're having a very hard time admitting you were right. Tell me about the Three of Swords. I did just hear Gold Digger. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Five of Cups in Reverse. Recouping their loss. Securing their options. Wow. It's crazy how it all comes together, right? Recouping their loss. Recoup, uh, securing their options here. Aqua, I feel like this is someone coming back to you. But like I said, a lot of energies here. We've got an Emperor who's found out a, um, a queen of pentacles energy was running around on them or had secret affairs, secret commitments. And now we have this person um, begrudgingly making an offer, trying to secure their options here. And Aqua, if this is a new person, like I said, you sense something's going on with them. You can sense it. You can sense it like, you either have been through a lot or you're not like you're not telling me everything. You're not telling me everything for a reason, but I don't know what it is. And then you like are fucking scanning this person. Okay. Tell me about three of swords. There it is again. Knight of Cups. Piscean energy. Could also be water or fire. Tell me about three of swords. Why do I feel like this is turning into a telenovela? Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air. Or fire. I, I feel like you're really resistant to this person. I feel like this person's trying to talk to you, trying to reach out to you, trying to give you this offer. And I feel like you don't really want to talk to them. I feel like you don't really want to talk to them. It's like you're you're very hesitant. Because you can feel their energy. You feel like they've recently been through something. You know they're not telling you everything. And even this indicates that, that they're not telling you everything. And you don't like that. I can feel your hesitation. Talking about three of swords. Talking about Three of Swords. Overall energy, Hermit in Reverse, Virgo energy. Wow, Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. And then that Two of Cups, Cancerian energy here. Aqua, you know this person. If I'd be shocked if you didn't know this person, okay? If this is new, I, I highly doubt it, but if it's a new person, um, they're realizing that you're their stability, you're the key to their long-term 
security, their long-term stability as well. They look at you like, okay, I could be I could be set with this person. This person's stable. This person has a lot to offer. This person has a lot to offer. Also, definitely a soulmate connection here, okay? Really hope I didn't confuse you guys. Um, so just to paraphrase, someone made a very quick decision. Um, a very quick decision. Uh To leave someone behind someone was running around on them someone was running around on an emperor someone was dipping in the community community or social network that they share that's how it feels oh ooh, ooh, friends oh no that's awful um, i guess that happens i know that happens um and this emperor was just like i've had it i can't do this um but aqua i think you warned this person already about the queen of pentacles which is why they're begrudgingly coming your way um begrudgingly coming your way realizing that you were you were the stable one. You were the stable one. You're the loyal one. And they're it's, they're making an offer, but they're not telling you everything. I can see it. They're not telling you everything and you can feel it. And that's making you really hesitant. And the truth of it is they want to secure themselves. And I think that's, that's what you're feeling. You know that they have a lot of self-interest in this because they don't feel secure or stable right now because of what they've been through. Now, am I saying that's a shitty thing or not a shitty thing? That's up for you to decide, not me. I'm just the messenger, okay? Let's look at the Five of Pentacles in reverse, and then we'll pull some Oracle cards. I'm going to use the Honest Truth deck. Try with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. You're trying to figure out what they really want. Because they're because they're not telling you everything, you're trying to figure out what it is they're not telling you. Try with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. For Aquarius regarding love for the last half of November. I don't think this person's as smooth as they think they are either, Aqua. Because I don't think they're realizing how quickly you're picking up on the fact that you're they're not telling you everything. They're not as smooth smooth as they think they are. So I'm about five of pentacles in reverse. So I'm about five of pentacles in reverse. For Aquarius regarding love for the last half of November. See here. Oh, wow. Yep. Securing their options. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. That's a card of hard work, burning the midnight oil, uh, putting in the late hours to secure. The eight always leads to the 10 to get to a 10 of Pentacles. They want to secure their, their options here. Three of Swords in reverse, Libra energy to heal from heartache here. Uh, two of Pentacles. Um, God, it's. <laughs> Capricorn, Capricorn energy here. It's an energy of like not knowing what to do though. Not knowing what to do. Aqua, you're feeling like this is a trap. That's that trap feeling I was, I was feeling. God, no one, too many, when you got too many people up in the mix, it's like, it gets really complicated. So Aqua, I just want to paraphrase because I don't want you guys to be confused. So you knew this person from however long ago. You warned them against this person they were involved with, business or love or otherwise. They didn't want to listen to you. They got duped, okay? They got duped got the hell out of Dodge, but they're begrudgingly coming your way because you were right. And they don't know how to approach you with the whole, yes, you were right. And like the whole, I told you so sort of energy, but they're coming to you to secure their options and recoup their losses. And they're not telling you everything. And you can sense that they're not telling you everything. And you're not okay with that. That really bothers you. And they're not as smooth as they think they are because they don't realize that you're picking up on that. Okay. Um, and you're, and because of that, it's making you feel like this is a trap because you know that you're not getting all the answers and Aqua, you, you have a valid reason to feel that way, a valid reason to feel that way. Okay. Um, this is someone trying to re regain their footing here and gain a foothold with you. For some, this person doesn't like to be alone and that's also what it is. Talk about five of pentacles in reverse for Aquarius. And it's putting you in the situation of like, you, it's up to you. I mean, at the end of the day, it's you can decide to deal with this person or not deal with this person. But because they're not telling everything, it just feels like it's just a trap. That's how it feels. Talk about five of pentacles in reverse. Talk about five of pentacles in reverse for Aquarius. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did I say? Look at this shit. Ace of Cups. Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy, full in reverse, Aries energy, also Aquarian energy for me as a reader. I feel like this person made you feel really shitty before. And you're really hesitant to take that leap into what they're offering. 
you're really looking at it and I feel like you're making them wait and you're putting them on pause. Overall energy, we do have the Hierophant Taurian energy. So an energy of commitment and energy of loyalty. Um, also institution, commit, like, yeah, I'm getting contracts, contracts, contracts. They want stability that can't just run away and run out on them like they were, like what happened with this person that duped them, okay? They want to lock you down because they just are, they're leaving an, a very unstable situation and they want stability. That's what they're looking for. And they recognize that they can have it with you. They recognize they can have it with you, which is why they're trying to lock you in. And you don't want I, I can feel it. You're really hesitant. You just feel like they're going to trap you, especially because they're not being fully honest. And that is a problem to not be fully honest here. So. Mm. The thing they might not be fully honest about is that you were just right. That could be it, that you were just right. And they just, it could be a pride thing. So take all of this as it resonates. But Aqua, you're doing good. You're feeling good. This person's knocking on your door, hitting up, probably just blowing up your phone, honestly. I feel like it's just a phone call, uh, an actual phone call. But you decide what's best for you. And if you want full honesty, which I don't think is asking a lot, then demand it. And if they can't give it to you, that's their fault. That's their fault. So let's go ahead and get some advice. Any advice for Aquarius regarding the spread? Any advice for Aquarius regarding the spread? Any advice for Aquarius regarding this spread? Any advice for Aquarius regarding this spread? Yeah, I just heard ghosts from the past. Yeah, Aqua, I don't think this is a new person. I really don't. And like I said, if they are new, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It doesn't feel like it. Does not feel like it at all. Doesn't feel like it at all. Um, yeah, doesn't feel like it. I feel like you really know this person. Any advice for Aquarius regarding this spread? Any advice for Aquarius regarding this spread? Any advice for Aquarius? Oh. There it is, Swan Spirit, time for a deep dive. And it's funny, I was like, water, you wanna be around water? What is this? You're just looking at emotion. You're not letting it touch you, you just need to examine it. 60 breaking down to a six. Examine how you really feel about the situation and what your intuition's telling you. Cause I feel like your intuition's gonna be right. If you, if you know they're not telling everything and if you feel like it's a trap because they just want to be with someone or they just want stability and it's like, okay, yeah, I should have listened to you. Uh, you're stable, let me just be stable with you as opposed to I want to be with you or I want to deal with you as opposed to your stability, then you have your answer. Then you have your answer. Take the time to examine it, which you're going to do. With that seven of pentacles, ace of cups, ace of cups, water, examining the water. Yeah, you're going to examine the hell out of that, the water here. Um, you're going to get your answer. Chameleon spirit, act as if. 14, break it down to a five. This is a card of adaptability, but Aqua, I feel like you're actually putting on a persona. Not a persona, that's not the right word. You're letting them think. You're letting them think that they that you don't know about... Jesus, how do I say this? I don't want to confuse you guys. It's a very funky way to say this. Act as if, literally, act as if you don't know that they're not telling you the truth or the full truth. They're, they're being honest, but not fully honest, okay? Keep keep using that. That's working in your favor because they're not as smooth as they think they are. They really they really think that they're, that you're believing everything that they're saying and that you're buying into it. Um, and again, it's not that they're lying. They're just not telling you the full truth. They have no idea that you are aware of that. So use that. That's really going to help you here. Hope I said that right. I'm like, oh, why does that sound so confusing the way I said it? Anyway, any other advice for Aquarius regarding this spread? This person's got some pride. I really feel like the thing they're not being honest about is just that you were right. 
Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. 67, breaking down to four. Stability. Stability. Like I said, Aqua, they know you're stable. They know you can bring that. They know it. They know it. I really feel like you're the, you're the fool here. I really feel like you're in the full energy. They're an emperor energy, and they're leaving a queen of pentacles in reverse energy. So just, again, wanting to make that clear. But Aqua, I really feel like you're the wolf here in this situation because they're like, oh, look. Look at Aqua. Look at that wolf. They, they can offer me stability. They know what they're doing. They, they know what's up. They know what's up. They know what's up. They look at you like you're very wise, and you are. You're Aqua. You are very wise. Keep in mind, you can be any one of these people, okay? Any other advice for my Aquarius? Any other advice for my Aquarians? And definitely something about knowledge. Sorry, I'm being drawn back to this card. Something about knowledge and information. Information. Try to collect as much information and facts on this person and what happened and what they're leaving behind and what they really want, like facts, like actual facts. Try to do some digging here. Try to do some digging beyond just intuition is also what they're telling me. Any other advice? Like if this is all about business, it feels like romance, I gotta be honest. But if this is about business and money, definitely do some background checks. <laughs> Any other advice for Aquarius? Nope. Ah, there it is again. Over energy, pig spirit, use your mind wisely. Aqua, 47, breaking down to an 11 here. Use your intuition, see as their eyes all lit up, and use your own intelligence, use your common sense. Do the background checks, do the investigations, put two and two together. What is factually possible based off of what they're telling you, or again, maybe what's even not being said, and decide how you feel about it and just keep playing along like you don't know they're hiding shit. Just keep playing along. It's going to help you. And like I said, I really feel like the only thing they're hiding is their hurt ego. I really, <laughs> that's the only thing is just not admitting that you were right and that they were duped in a way that you warned them they would be duped. I think that's the only thing. The only, I really feel like that's the only thing they're hiding from you. But still, do your digging. Do your digging. Okay. All right, Aquas, I hope you guys enjoyed that and you found it insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and I will check you guys out later. Namaste, guys. Bye.